What's cracking, y'all? Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, I, I want to thank y'all for the support that you've been showing for the Etown Get Down weekly recaps. I want to apologize for this episode because the first 20 minutes or so is without video. The audio is there and it's still a little shoddy. We're still working on the production. But we did just buy three new really good mics with the boom arm extension thing. So we're going to look all professional. We bought a uh, an audio interface. So we're plugging all of the mics into one interface right now into one computer. Um, so it's a lot less work for me on that on the back end and I'm horrible at editing audio So that's why they've been so bad um, But for next episode, they will be really really good So I just wanted to apologize because there are a few times throughout this video Particularly the first 20 minutes or so that is without video You'll hear us the audio and then about 20 or 23 minutes ish Into the audio the video will pop up and then you'll be able to watch us for 20 or 25 minutes And then I think it kind of goes off for a little bit, but we're still working on things this is the first time we've done multi people in one room doing it. So that being said, hope y'all enjoy still. Um, I apologize and I love you and uh, I will see y'all this weekend. So happy Thanksgiving. Let's boogie baby. All right, Big Dogs, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Big Dogs. Gotta eat. We're here in what should be the real HQ now, I guess. We've taken over. We've been here more nights at, at, at your house now than, than I've been at my own house, I feel like, in a row. We were here till midnight last night watching the Monday Night Football game. Don't mind it. Yeah, I, I, this, I love this little fucking man cave we got going down here. Um, so, this is the third installation of the E-Town Get Down weekly recap of our fantasy football league. Um, the, last, the last week or so has been pretty exciting. We're getting down to crunch time. Yeah. It's going to be week 12 of fantasy football. And uh, I think the first thing we need to cover is, is the game last night. Because that, that classic. That's a lot to cover there. That, that, yeah, I know. We could have a whole fucking episode based on that, to be honest with you. We tried. I apologize for anyone that tried to join the live stream last night. Um, technical difficulties. When you're, when you're in a cave, the Wi-Fi connection doesn't necessarily... Yeah, we'll, we'll keep getting better. Actually, I mean, I feel like we keep getting worse. We're, we keep yeah, stepping we're backwards in production. The production value is going up, but we kind of just you take two steps forward, one step back. We're trying really hard, at least. Um, Which we should get applauded for. I agree. So thumbs that button up if you've been enjoying these so far. Anyways, let's, let's hop into Monday Night Football. So I, I'm in five redraft leagues, and every single one of my leagues came down to this game. I have plenty of Mahomes, plenty of Robert Woods, plenty of Tyreek Hill, Kelsey, all over the place. And uh, I actually asked people to send in their craziest finishes for their Monday Night Football, fantasy football game last night. I want to hear your first reaction thoughts uh, on a team basis, on a fantasy basis. Like, what, what were your biggest, yeah, what were your biggest takeaways from that game last night? That, um, their both teams are horrible, right? Defensively, I don't think either one are very good, although the Rams scored three fucking defensive touchdowns. Yeah, so... Both uh -huh. teams, what, what are the fantasy points of both defenses? The Rams had 21, I think. 21? They gave up 51 points. Oh my god. 21, huh? Ridiculous. I'm pretty sure that was it. Um, also, quiet nights from Hunt and Gurley. That was a. Uh, Gurley, Gurley supposedly tweaked his ankle in the beginning of the game. That's why they said they kind of. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's why he was in and out. They said he's fine because they got the bye week coming up, so he's fine. <laughs> I think the other, I think a big takeaway was Josh Reynolds played well. Yeah. So he's good. someone who was like, you know, obviously all the big name players like Mahomes got fucking 40, got 40, Hill 40. Like no one really needs to have any analysis on that. But Josh Reynolds was a guy who caught, what do you have, seven catch or something, 80 yards in a touchdown? Yeah. Yeah. Was in his way. Game with that much offense, you hope he was involved. So. Right. It's hard to take away that because you also look at the Rams tight ends. Like both of the tight ends score touchdowns. Yeah, and it's just right. like. Gerald Everett, Tyler Higby got in the end zone, so it's like it's just fucking God, the, the single greatest game that we've ever witnessed. That game for sure. To every every hype except those fuck these officials need to stop. Dude, oh, like they have to stop. How many flags did we ever find out? How many flags we were? No, I, I didn't no, look that up. But we were more talking, flags we were or more points about it during last night. Just the stoppage of plays. Just stop. <laughs> and it seriously, the product is getting watered down. God. Yeah, well, I think they were also trying to stretch that game out because they knew how many people were viewing it, so they wanted those viewers as long as possible. Supposedly, yeah, fair. Supposedly, Vegas lost a lot of money last night. Did I don't know where all the money was, but yeah, I read something about it. 
I was going to say, what asshole bet the under? Probably a lot of people bet the under, to be honest with you. A lot of people see 63 and think they're sharp. But it's That's like, true. It's like, bro. You're just an asshole. Yeah. It's like, because the Rams defense has been fucking putrid this year. Horrible. I, I'm, I'm excited to see Tlaib back because I really think it's going to turn things around for them. I feel like Tlaib is going to be... A fun, he's so good. He's a game changer. He's so good. When you have a, when you have a, a cornerback like that, man, it's just because then it means Marcus Peters doesn't need to take on the number one and he doesn't get fucking burned every play. Yeah. Marcus Peters is good. He's good. He's not the elite guy that everyone thought he was, though. No, no. He's kind of doing it by himself, so he's getting exposed a little bit. Exactly. Because they got nothing else going on. I got fucking Sam Shields. Dude, Wait, Sam was Sam Shields like 54. <laughs> Sam Shields, the number of times he was on the ground last night was unbelievable. He's like a fucking soccer player. All he does is fucking fall down every time. He had a rough night. Yeah, that was altogether a super fun game to watch, though. Yeah, uh, we were locked in. We, did, we didn't talk much, like, in between plays and stuff. We kind of just watched it transpire. It was awesome. Couldn't take your eyes off it. The, the, problem, the problem with this game is we have Thanksgiving football, and the games that are on on Thanksgiving are terrible. Are the Bears at Detroit, and Trubisky's probably not going to play. I don't know if you saw that. I read, I read or I heard on the radio just... As uh, before I picked you up that he, they were expecting him to play. Yeah. Now, the last reports I saw, which were pretty recently. Um, I saw it today, this afternoon. Yeah. And then like 6 o'clock I heard different. So maybe we, we looked that up so we don't get it. I mean, I'm a doctor. Take my word for it. I'm a dentist, which means I'm a doctor too. What, what does dentistry have to do with Ms. Trubisky's injury? Shoulder injury. Yeah, but. Did someone bite him? Being a doctor. You being a dentist, you're still a doctor. But, but I'm not a dentist. You just said you're a doctor. You didn't clarify what kind of doctor. I'm a shoulder doctor. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, if you said that before, then I wouldn't have brought up. The That's the term for it too. What's the term for a shoulder doctor? Is there a thing for that or no? Uh, that's not right. Well, I gave Mitch Trubisky surgery last night. <laughs> So he's very doubtful see, for... Is, see, I told you, Mitch the bitch, man. I don't have another quarterback. Yeah, it's beautiful. There's not many on Actually, the Actually, it's not beautiful. Line. I need you to win. Anyways, okay, so implications, implications. Chicago, play, we're going to skip around in the agenda. We're just going to go straight to the Thanksgiving games. We're going to, we're going to recap our games and whatnot. So, Mitch Trubisky, if, if he does miss the game, can you play anyone on the Bears? It's still a shitty Detroit offense, but I don't think you could play. Yeah, I'd play Collins. You'd play Collins. Yeah, he's going to get all his dump offs and he's going to let him run. That's a, that's a good play. I think I would be, mm, yeah, you're right. If, I'm forced to play, if you're forced to play someone else besides Cohen, who are you most comfortable with? It can't be Allen Robinson. He's got to be off the table, I think. I mean, then it would be I, Miller I, I, or Burton. I, I like, like uh, Burton. Yeah. Those backup quarterbacks always, always find the tight end. Yeah. Always. And yeah. to be honest, this is really bad on my part. Who's the backup quarterback? Chase Daniels. Chase Daniels? Good guess because I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, I'm sorry. I, I, I on my part. I, I might have made that up, but I'm pretty sure it... Oh, look at uh, Glennon. No, I don't think he's... It's, it's Chase Daniel. It's Chase Daniel. Yeah. I yeah. heard of Mike Glennon. He, not, he, he got paid. And Mike Glennon, he got paid died. this offseason? Wasn't he on the... Did he died. He died too? I think he might have. You think he's just hanging out with fucking Abby Lacey and Trent Rich? Yeah. Him Three and gods? And Matt oh, Flynn there too. Honestly, they put on such a better podcast than us. Those three sat down and talked. We football. should ask them if they want to be guests. That'd be amazing. What's it like to be fucking losers? What do you think? Terry Rich definitely has nothing to do all day. What do you actually, realistically, what do you think Trent Rich is doing right now? Eating. 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 You're right. It's the second dinner time. That's big facts. Okay. Okay. So we got Detroit, Chicago. Yes. We have, the other big thing is Karrion Johnson's going to be out. Karrion Johnson, or he's doubtful, he's definitely going to be out. Um, he's going to be out for this week, probably next week. Theoretic. Theoretic. I, I, I still think Theoretic's not a guy you're excited about, but you're no, like, but, but, but you're going to play him if you need to. You can't physically be excited. I have so many guys on by that can have someone like that I can plug in feel kind of okay about. Yeah. Fair. I mean, I I'm thrilled even after watching last. I think I saw on your Twitter feed about Kenny Galladay. Yeah. Whew. 88% of the air yards Whew. he had in this game. That was absurd. So Marvin Jones is going to be That's out. Crazy. Karrion Johnson is going to be out. Golden Tate is going to be out because he's not in Detroit anymore, obviously. So that leaves Kenny Galladay <laughs> just to be like, this game's going to be so bad. This game is yeah, going to be so hard. bad. No it's twelve thirty. It's early. Yeah, get it's that out of the way. It's be what, my suggestion for you guys is to get so fucking drunk the night before that you wake up after this game is you over. You literally get so drunk you sleep right through it. Actually, I feel like you need to sleep through the next game as well because it's the fucking Skins and the Cowboys. Oh, that's a big game for me. It's a yeah. big game. Like I need the Cowboys. I've, I've never, never said that in my life. I need the Cowboys. 
Giants. Giants. Do you, you still, still think the Giants have... I think it's the Cowboys. What's wrong with you? Yeah. What do you mean what's wrong with me? We still play the, we, the, the Eagles, Redskins, and the Cowboys. So if we beat Philly this week... What's your record right now? 3-7. and 3-7. Seven. and seven. Yeah. Okay. This is going to be our first bet. <laughs> okay. We're going to make a bet right now. They have six games left. Correct. I'm going to put the over-under at... You think they win half their games? Remaining games? Is that too high? We have to... You got to put a hook in there. You, you give uh, an unbiased... Uh, you got to put a hook in there. Yeah. You have six games. Over under for a remainder of wins. Do you want me to tell six. you? Do you want me to tell you who they play? Yeah. Real quick. Yeah, Philly, Wa- I'm in no order. Philly, Washington, Dallas, Chicago, Tennessee, Indianapolis. Oh my God. You have no wins on this schedule. Where? Yeah. Where? Exa- my point exactly. Are you kidding? You might win two. I put the over under. At t- I put the over under at five to go three to make it fair. Well, two and a half. You can You need a hook. You can't. I don't want no pushes. Two and a half. You don't really have a choice. You have to take the over here. I'm hammering you over. <laughs> I'm hammering you over. I think I think you're gonna get like a plus one forty on that. What's the, what is the bet? What would you like me to buy you? What actually I should say what should I be bought because there's no fucking shot they win three games out of the okay. remaining six. Um, that's actually a really good question. We're gonna have to figure that out. Maybe your listeners can uh, give us something. Yeah, we need some. We need some. Uh, uh, but it has to be in by Sunday because. After Sunday, the odds could drastically change. Yeah. And this will be up before then. Yeah. yeah, this will probably be up tomorrow. And or if they don't give us anything by Friday or Saturday, we'll figure something out. We'll yeah, we'll we'll we got a live bet. First live bet on the camera. There will be plenty more. Two and a half games remaining for the Giants. He has the over. I have the under. We, we, yeah, you're out of control. You don't bet with emotion. Rule number one. Set seven wins. Yeah, so you, you if I'm hitting another, the over, I'm doubling down here. No, you would, you could hit three and still be short. I have six wins. You're gonna lose both fucking bets. Okay. Anyways, that NFC East matchup. Let's get back to it because there are some fantasy implications here. Alex Smith is out. Colt McCoy is gonna be the quarterback. No one. Do, on the Redskins. There's no one on the Redskins. What about Jordan Reed as a Maybe Jordan Reed. Jordan Reed definitely. Well, Jordan Reed plays. Like 13 targets, something like that. Yeah, the Cowboys are mediocre against the tight end. Uh, Jordan Reed finally got in the fucking end zone for the first time since, I think, week one. Yeah, um, and now, yeah, you know, you have O.J. Howard yes. out. You have O.J. Howard out for the year. you got Travis Kelsey on a bye. So there are people looking for tight ends, and Jordan Reed is probably available in leagues because people just so drop his ass. I think he'd be one of the comfortable guys. Was his touchdown catch last week from Smith or McCoy? Either of you guys know? McCoy. It was from McCoy. Yeah. That's big. So he's looking that way early. That's big. Okay. After that, he had a prime target. AP staying in your lineup? He's been consistently... Yeah. Oh, the volume is... Dude, this game is going to feature 60 carries yeah. between Zeke and AP. The game's going to be over. It's going to be an awful. Hour yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's going to be great. It's beautiful. So, like, I repeat my first, yeah. my first point. Drink so much the night before that you wake up for the Saints and Falcons game. The line on that game is out of control. It's like two touchdowns. It's not really out of control, but the fact that they're... The Saints defense... This is the same cold... This is... The, we're still talking Cowboys, right? Oh, you, oh, you, no, I'm you go. Sorry, you go. Sorry. You go. I thought you said the line... Let's not completely count the rest of doubt, okay? Colt, Colt McCoy went in there a few years ago. He's a winner. He's a winner. He beat Dallas he's a winner. in Jerry World. He's a winner. But for fantasy? No, there's no. What's, what's the best fantasy game he's ever put up? Probably. Yeah, I might need to freaking start him. I think, I think Elliot is... The, I think the rest of the way, by the way, Elliot is just going to feast because they finally figured out when you give him the ball, you normally have a better chance. Who would have known that? Who would have ever who known that? that? Who would have known that? I don't. I feel like it's not their fault that they didn't know that. No, it's not. Jason Garrett's good clapper. <laughs> Great clapper. He claps. Go, go clapper. All right, yeah. So Colt McCoy came in last week, went six for 12, 54 yards, touchdown. He had it 35 yards on the ground. I forgot he's a good athlete too. Okay, so he's playing. Dallas has a strong pasty though. I, mean, I, I wouldn't. I hate that. Yeah, it's they, sneaky good. Sneaky good because they're very fast. They're yeah, quick, they're so they're so not going to let a guy like McCoy. They're not going to let a guy like McCoy run around no. too much. So I don't think his rushing upside is there. So. I don't know. You can, you can throw McCoy in your lineup if you want to. Jordan Reed's the only guy I would think about. AP is more of like a, a, a low... By, yeah, if he's a low RB2 problem, flex play. Problems, yeah, exactly. He's going to get his touches, but maybe he busts one. That's, that's about it. He's nothing spectacular. Yeah, and then on the Dallas side of things, it's Zeke. Uh, I, I'm fine with Dak, too. Uh, yeah. I'm fine. You don't like him? No. He's been playing a lot better Dak with... Dak is atrocious. He's been playing a lot better with Cooper. He'll be he'll be in lineups this week. Dak I don't hate him. Is atrocious. 
Five, You're ten, so jealous. I'm jealous. You would pay atrocious amounts of money to have Dak as the future of the Giants. <laughs> Dak and Barkley together? I'd rather have Eli for seven more years <laughs> than, have, than have Dak Prescott. Dak and Barkley would be nice. That actually would be a, a pretty interesting combo. I wouldn't be mad about that. If, as a Falcons fan, I wouldn't Can be mad if you guys had. Can we move on? So the night game is Falcons-Saints. I don't, I don't know. There's not much to talk about there. You're starting all the players in that game. Should be a shootout. It's in the Dome. Both of these, both of these teams go fucking nuts in domes. It's what they do. What was the line in that game you said before? It was big. Let me, uh, I saw like 11 and a half. Let me see what it's at right now. Uh, it's 13. Yeah. Over under of 60 and a half. What? Yeah. I'm taking the Falcons. I'm taking the under on that. No, the Saints are going to put 40 by themselves. No, no they're not. Falcons they're not. win this game by six. I'm taking the Falcons. Plus 13, I'm buying the hook. 13 and a half, they're going to lose by 13. Love that. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to throw some money on the Falcons. I disagree with your assessment. They're going to lose by 13. That ain't no guess. What's what your, that's, not, that's a fact. They're going to lose 30-17. Falcons in the under. 30-17? to 17? Yeah. yeah. I like the under there. 16 L- and a half. LTC. You think the Falcons are going to lose? 30-17. Yeah. They're going to cover the spread. Dude, the over-unders this year are out of control. Yeah. 16 and a half? Like, what the, what they think they're the fucking Chiefs and the Rams? 30-17? I, I think it's going to be higher scoring. I actually think the last few years, this game, they, these have not been that high scoring of games. Let me check. Let me check back. Oh, the Thanksgiving games? No, no, the Falcons Saints games. They, people always are like, "Oh, this is gonna be such a shootout," and the over/unders are super high, and then they normally disappoint, except for uh, in Week Three of this year when they scored 80 points combined. Before the Saints offense is on pace to be the best offense in the NFL. I think this is. Uh, they, a, I think this is a slow down game for the Saints. I really do. I think the Falcons. Me too. I think the Falcons. It's a trap game. It's it is, and the Falcons. The Falcons play the Saints tough. Come on, let's big not. tripe game. Their first. They played in Week Three. Let's not. Forty three to thirty seven. Good. God, but I was right. Last year it was a total of 36 points and um, and 37. And the year prior, that was a big game. So I guess I'm just thinking about last year. But um, yeah, that's a high over under. You're playing all the players here, everybody. Everyone, except yeah. Devontae Freeman. Show some respect. No, I hate Show some res- him. What about Roddy White? What about Roddy White? No, and I'm annoyed that you're wearing that jersey too. Why? I told you as soon as you stepped in the car. Why? It's like, what are you doing? Falcons suck. You get you piss on me when I wear giant shit saying giant suck. I've literally never pissed on you for wearing a giant shirt. <laughs> Probably thought about it. I walked in your car and you say, why are you wearing that? He's never won anything. <laughs> and I say, okay, Adam fucking Thielen hasn't won anything. He's going to lose you your championship this year in fantasy football, most likely. Very true. Roddy White's the only celebrity who's ever answered me on Twitter. All right? I show respect. That's it? No, there's probably... We should have a segment about my Twitter interactions. There's probably... Oh, my God. We do... I need to show you all the people this kid's been blocked by on Twitter. Oh, man. That, that's a whole episode. If you name him, I'm probably blocked by him. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Roddy White would never block you, though. He's too good of a guy. You want to make a bet? He'd probably put you into therapy with him. Bet. Be like, Nikki, Nikki, why don't you throw me a DM? We'll talk We'll talk about it, baby. Yeah. He's a great guy. No, he's not. Oh, my God. You're ignorant. Your ignorance has moved me on to the next section. Let's talk about some matchups. So, big week. Uh... Anything unordinary stand out to you guys in this week's scoring? Like any um, any crazy games, any big outputs, any changing of the guards, any god-like performances, um, I, any goat-like performances? I'm, actually, I'm really excited for that. I mean, you know, probably fantasy and football side. I'm really excited for that Green Bay Minnesota game. Um, just ignore it. This is abs- yeah. insanity. All right, so I, I scored 215 points. I took on Salami fucking Sam. We put him in the dirt. We put him in the coffin. Are you kidding me? Do you really think I'm going to talk about that right now? I just lost my points lead. Listen, I had it for one week. We talked about it for a little bit. I got my fame, my fortune. All right, fine. Yeah, you know what? I took it last week. Max smacked me, put up a 199 spot. You know what we did this week? We flipped it around. And we put up a 215 spot. That's the highest That's the highest scoring week in the history of the E-Town Get Down. I could say that confidently. It's pretty impressive. 215. We had... We're looking at the lineups, and, and the best part about it, actually, it sucks. I wish George would have put up 200 points and lost. That would have made me really fucking happy. But he couldn't even hit 100. Wait, embarrassing was kind of better. Embarrassing was fun, but it, but it was like I, I wanted him to feel heartbreak. You know, like when you're down by 200 points, like in, in, in Monday night, you know, you're just like, okay, whatever. I'm on, on to the next game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Got to watch the film. Well, it's, watch funny, the film. it's funny. We, we were texting, and I, I was sweating my game out for a while. And I was sweating against my brother in the second Worst team in the league, and turns out they won by 65 or so. Yeah, you know? a lot of games that came out yeah. of nowhere. <laughs> Swan it out there. 
65 points. I'm so sorry for, for you having to exercise yourself. Well, it all changed, man. Antonio Brown caught that, that, that 70 yard touchdown. Yeah, so I smacked George around. Luckily, Max pulled a dub uh, against Eric. Should have sabotaged you. Pushing me into four. You should have. So now I, I, I moved ahead of Nick with my performance. First, most points in the league right now. Yeah, by, I'm still in first place. By like eight. But I'm still in fourth place because my win loss, because I have the most points scored against me. Actually, not anymore. Jason does now. And I play Jason, who's one in 10 next week. Trap game. Big trap game because I have Kelsey, Mahomes, Robert Woods on by. Just lost OJ Howard, who was going to be my backup for Kelsey. Karan Johnson's hurt now. I'm going to be playing fucking. I wish I had Theo Rick right he's now. He's got a formidable three man running back trio, too. Yeah, like. Fournette, Nix, and White. A one, a one in 10 team has Fournette, White. I don't want you in the playoffs. They're, I would really they're like scared. That too, yeah. You see how scared they are? Yeah. Yeah. We're trying to get the good team out. Could be 15 points. Whatever. It don't matter now. We're rolling. We are cruising. If I can get past Jason, fucking hell gates are open, I'm, baby. I have, I have game of the week this week against Joe. He already started today. It's a shit talk, too. Ooh, yeah, I know. He's angry. He like, said my team's all, me. Yeah, he said my team's overrated, which, I mean, 9-2. and two, Well, now, second most points in the league. I don't think it is. He's feeling good. Um, so, we, yeah, we have these four teams who, who are the best teams. Like, Eric's team was in that picture, but we, we have, like, 300 more points than he does. Yeah. He has no business being in there. So we have us three and then Joe, who had two second-round picks this year. He is in third place. Is plays Joe if, you know what? George is more points. Or George is right on Joe for points. Eric's not that far. He's like I could lose to George this week too. Very plausible. There's all yeah. You know what? There's a lot of there's a lot of matchups between one and six. A lot of things can still happen. Plus we still have like two or three weeks left. So yeah. So a lot a lot a lot to go. You got the matchup with Joe. You got the matchup with George. I would say both of those are like pretty evenly important almost in the race. Well yeah because yours is more so for seeding. Yours for like. Kick George's ass out of the fucking playoffs. I and that was George playing next. You week. have you have George without Gurley, so you're and that's that's his whole team. But I also don't have Tyreek Hill. I don't have Jared Goff. I don't have Kareem Hunt. But he doesn't have Gurley. Yeah, yes. that's his whole team. It doesn't. Yeah, nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. <laughs> Literally. True. If I mean, you I are, love if you are a Gurley owner, I will link the suicide hotline down below for you. <laughs> oh, I actually want to bring up some heartbreaks. Some tweets that I oh, booked. Oh, yeah, you were saying you, you teased Some, you some teased tweets that I bookmarked. Before. Yeah, so so basically I just, I woke up and I was I was still pumped up about the game from last night. I was like, that seemed yeah. like, it was, it was kind of surreal. It was like a dream. So I tweeted out, I was like, I want you guys to send me your like most heartbreaking loss of uh, the Monday, Monday Night Football game. Because obviously there were so many players going. I was up by 80 points going into the night. <laughs> <laughs> he had Tyree Kill and Patrick Mahomes left. We lost by 2.75, and I dropped from third place to sixth place. Uh, Imagine going into Monday Night Football uh, 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 up 80 points. I would, I, wouldn't, I would be like, okay, I'm celebrating, you know? Like, oh, I wouldn't man. Even... No, you can never celebrate, not ever. Not with that game, not with that combo. You're right, Hill and Mahomes. I and... actually, um, it was funny. Oh, go ahead, continue. I'm no, sorry. no, you're good, go. There was, remember the year Michael Vick put up? Like 80 points or something. Like yeah. Something crazy. It was 49 points. Someone tweeted me that. Someone actually tweeted back about that. They're like, I was down 48 going into the game, scored 49 points and won that night. It was Michael Vick. Yeah. It's funny though because our my league that year we had crazy like bonuses for for QBs and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I wound up having Michael Vick with 80 points that game. 80 points. I went down down 74. Shit. Hold on. Recording. All right, people. If you have been listening to us, I am so sorry. Here are our beautiful faces, and now we're ready to <laughs> now we're ready to talk to you. Yes, let's go. I'm just gonna I'm gonna get a picture, a screenshot of us, and then put that into the video for the first 25 minutes of it. What a time to be alive. Hey, it's not your fault. It's our fault. Yeah. No, it's 100 percent not. We we know what we're doing. We're we're guys. Like we said, production weekly. On the up and up. We're yet to hit the, the upslope. Mm -hmm. Listen, it's darkest before dawn. Good things are to come. Where are we at right now? What the fuck were we even talking about? That really that really took me for a tailspin. I was talking about my Michael Vick story. Okay, yeah, go So go. I went down, I went into the game down about like, it was like 70 something. And with the bonuses, Michael Vick had 80. What kind of p fucking bonuses do you have that would get this us? Was, this was a long time ago. We were really just starting the fantasy. You didn't know what the fuck you were doing? Well, I mean, I did. They didn't. Everything, so. All right. Actually, on that point, 
for what would you say? I mean, I like I like the rules that we have now. If you're like a new league, because I there, I still get tons of questions about like standard leagues and you know weird stupid rules that we got rid of a while ago. If you're starting a league today, mm-hmm. what are like your your Go-to. most important rules that that have to be in it? Like I would never join a standard league again. It has no, to be half I, half point PPR. And, and I wouldn't go. For, I don't like full PPR. I don't like full, full point. Either. I don't either. But I would take full over standard, uh, yeah, if yes. of course. Um, I think at this point it would have to be half PPR. I, I really like the super flex. I don't like the one quarterback leagues anymore. Because even in, in I have a, I'm in one single quarterback league this year, and I have Patrick Mahomes as my quarterback, and it like really hasn't made that much of a difference, which is crazy to say, but it's just like the other players are so much more important. I'm with that. I I didn't know how I would feel about the super flex with the two Q, you know, the option of the, the second quarter. I love it. I'm still not a fan. I fucking love it. Why aren't you fans? Is it because your two QBs suck? They don't. My two QBs are great. I, just, I know. It's never liked it. I was like, the hey, there's one QB on each team that matters, and that's it. So he's stuck in the Stone Age. Yeah. It's not Stone Age. I'm open to He just like he just likes to do less work. No, I just like yeah. having. He just likes to not be as good. The draft for me. Less he the whole draft. Less preparation. It doesn't ruin it. It just changes it. You yeah. have to adapt. I'm like, listen, I've done it before. This is, you're on, you're still bad at it. <laughs> hold on a second. It's like sex. Oh, I'm, I'm nine and two. Okay, so yeah, I'm nine and two. So yeah, to double check that. I'm just making sure that I'm still, you know, on the top here. By the way, I had a nervous breakdown this morning. Yahoo, I guess did not upload or whatever. Yeah. So it said I was eight and three. I was like, what the fuck? Same. It still had me in fifth place. I was like, god damn it. Are you kidding me? How am I gonna be in fifth place after after, after two hundred fifteen? Um, what the fuck were we talking about? Oh, I keep the, the league, yeah. like the the rules and stuff. Like we said, half point PPR, half PPR, super flex. Super flex. I'm, I'm all in on getting kickers out. Kickers. All those are out. Yeah, I love kickers. No, you're kickers. a fool. Kickers are game changers. I might, I might kick you out of our league. Get some kickers, a good 15 point game. They're game, ch- oh. but they're game changers for both sides. Like it's just Especially bad. Now that they all suck and they miss their kicks. Exactly. Like, that's so dumb. That's so dumb. Listen, if fantasy football is not supposed to be a sure thing. All right, Max. It's gotta be a lot of risk involved. You know what I You're think is? Idiot. I actually have two two rule changes. Not two rule changes, mm-hmm. but I almost well one. I heard this the other day. People move their the waiver time rather than Wednesday morning to Wednesday night because that one day extra gives you a lot of fucking new information for guys that you want to pick up. So I was gonna propose that next year rather. You know how they how they do it like four a.m. So it'd be at like four p.m. or six p.m. that night. Because I feel like you're doing a lot of guessing, and there's so much like injury report that doesn't come out. It's not like advantageous to anyone. It's just like it's you know it's for everyone. Advantageous to everybody. Right. So I think that's a cool rule to implement, and I also think that um, adding another flex spot, like if however many flex spots you have in your league, I think adding another one is a good idea. So no, that's too many. I think it's always good. No, you're saying flex, a super, two flexes and a super flex? For one, one it rewards the better teams because it, it helps stave off volatility just from like, if you have the, the less players you have, the more chance of just volatile weeks from guys like Traquan Smith putting up 28 points and winning you a game. If you have an extra flex spot, if your team is better, plus like what's the worst part about like in season fantasy football? It's making sit start choices. Like that shit is annoying. And Dude. fantasy is about scoring points and just. Yeah. We already have guys who are scoring 200 points. Yeah, but I kind of like... It's like last week I had to decide good. between like sitting Philip Lindsay and like Karen Johnson. It's like, that's it's fucking I like dumb. The, I like the thought you of it. You have to make this hard decisions as a manager. You're trying to make it easier. Just start everybody. We're playing fantasy football. We're not studying for the SAT. Yeah, well, Mr. One Quarterback over here. You got to make hard decisions. decisions. Well, I got to make... I can't... I have a lot of guys on by. I cannot drop these guys. I can't start one quarterback this week. I'm over it. can't... Especially if Mitch is hurt. If you have I, one flex in your league, add a second flex. I guarantee you you'll have well, more yes, fun with it. Well, yes, that's fine. You, you automatically, you need two. Yeah. I think two that's, on top of the super flex is good. have two. I think we found our like strong point there with yeah. how our roster is set up right now. I agree. I keep, I keep getting off the bookmark tweets of, that you guys sent in. Sorry. One of my leagues lost by 0.2 points on the last catch. Woods made. I had Gurley, so I thought I was going to get it at the end of the game. But they didn't remember when they passed it three times in a row. At the end, rather yeah, than giving Gurley yeah. one carry, lost by 0.2. I was down 127 to 0.7, or 127.7 to 126. So he's down 1.7. At the end of the game, he has Mahomes, and I have Goff. Mahomes throws a pick, and then Goff takes a knee. 
Hmm. Makes the final score 125 point. He still won 125.9 to 125.7. Wow. That imagine how nerve wracking that must be. Fuck that. I wouldn't even believe it until the next morning when we saw the final Yahoo cool, scores. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, I think that happened to like Joe Farley one year. Oh, did it? He had Josh Freeman like took two knees and was like negative uh, points and he lost by like point two. That's he so brutal. Josh Freeman. Josh Freeman. Yeah, that's uh, on him. Anyone who's starting Josh Freeman. Josh Freeman like was wasn't bad though. He was like doing the Ryan Fitzpatrick impression, yeah. throwing up like four hundred yards a game. That was absurd. What is Josh Freeman? What, like, what do you think he's doing? You he's think he's dead. with them? He's uh, dead. He can't he be like dead. Ice cream truck or something. <laughs> yeah. No, I think he he's actually. I think, I think he's dead. I'm looking that up right now. He's not dead. I think he is. Dead from the football world. No, I'm not. I'm not just being an asshole. I genuinely heard somewhere that he died. Josh no, you didn't. Wow, good looking guy, man. Like no, somebody asshole. told me that. Thirty years old. Not dead. Not dead. Career is dead. That's what it says on Wikipedia. <laughs> not dead. Oh, retires from CFL. He was playing in the CFL until 2018. Oh, there you go. Good for him. All right, so I had bad source. Maybe it was different. Josh. Definitely Frank. bad source. He's much alive. We don't know. What kind of source gives you that? What kind of source gives you fake death rumors? Well, maybe he would, maybe he's ill. It's like Ron. It's like uh, Johnny Drama's cousin, Ronnie. He had good information that Sandy Koufax was dying. <laughs> You're right. Misinformation. You're right. All right. Are you saying you have the same source as him? Yeah, I got an inside guy. Ooh, ooh! I found an article. I, I just typed in Josh Freeman quarterback. Where is he now? It's an article that says, "Where are they now?" Former Bucks, Josh Freeman and Cadillac Williams. Cadillac Williams. What's Cadillac the God doing? He's a football coach at a high school. Jesus Christ! Interesting. Did you see? Uh, uh, LeVar Ball's son, like the youngest one, is coming back to high school now. Yeah, yeah he's fire. Uh, all the teams, whatever. all the teams are like uh, canceling their games against him. Good. So like, we don't feel comfortable. Oh, so we don't feel comfortable playing against a uh, former professional basketball player. Yeah, that, you know what? That that set. They're all little ballers. They have that what's his name uh, kid? That seven foot seven kid, the giant. Yeah. Oh, that like awkward. The white. He, he looks makes, like. He makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. He looks like. He's he, got to be sick. Looks uncomfortable. He look he, when you see him. Yeah, he's like oddly shaped. Like his. It looks like when you're creating a video game character, like uh, when you're creating like a My Madden player and he's just like glitching yeah. and shit. That's like, <laughs> like fucking, when he's got like a, <laughs> yeah, he's got like a blockhead. You just like hold the right stick you and know, it like I'm fucking, oh my God, the pivots. Kid. Yeah, that's, uh, Girls that's, don't like him. that's miserable. I, th I feel like if God gave me a choice, he was like, I'm going to make you him, 7-7, seven, seven. you're going to be an NBA, you'll be a three-time all-star, hit one fat contract. I would be like, nah. Yeah, I think I would take I'd my rather be, I would take my chances with myself. I'd rather be Trent Richardson, I think. Oh, yeah. He eats good. I'd take Trent Richardson. He was first round pick. It's a high honor. honor. Did T-Rich ever... He didn't sign a second deal, right? Mm -hmm. He was like out of the league yeah, by like his third or fourth year. For a first round pick. Amazing. He cost two... Colts. Two separate NFL first round picks went towards Trent Richardson. What a time you to You know what? He wasn't coached well. That's the problem. He's, his first season was... First team was out of control. And I remember Julian, when Julian... He could have been the next AP. He could have been, been, been the next Yeah, we do. AP. We love... We might as well... Could have been the next yeah. AP. We're going to rename this this podcast the T-Rich Pod. Yeah, we should get him on here. T-Richy Rich. Yeah, he... Never watch this, Trent. Trent, we love you, dog. You can come on the show. We're only making fun of you because we're jealous of you. I am. We're your haters. Sure. That'd be so cool. There's that one picture of, like, of him getting the ball, and there's a hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> and he's running that way. <laughs> Julian oh, picked him on like second overall. I remember third overall. Um, he's no longer in the league. <laughs> very factual. <laughs> what else we got going on here in our league? Um, I have seven. Steve with the worst. Oh, let's talk about Steve's. Time. Yeah. Oh terrible, my god. Terrible <laughs> <sport>. <laughs> it's like, do we even have to talk it about needs this? To be brought up. Oh, it needs to it be does. brought up. If you guys remember <laughs> oh Stevie god. Stevie Chains. Really funny guy. We're gonna be able to get Hilarious. Right to see this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna get him in here. This was his. This was his showing this week. Pull it up on my. Oh my goodness. Fifty-five point two four in the same league, in which the settings were set that I scored two hundred and fifteen points. He had once. He had. That was fluky. I, that's the only thing it I will really back him up on. Wasn't that fluky? Point eight four from a quarterback is fluky. Sorry. It is fluky, but oh my god! He, his highest scoring player was Tevin Coleman with ten points. Doug Martin is the RB two. Cole Beasley's in his lineup. The Chargers, who were supposed to be a good stream, got him a, a fat fucking donut. My god, 
This is unbelievable. He's gonna he's gonna take that L. He's gonna take the last place, hundred percent, especially after Jason beats me this week. Jason is gonna beat you. I know. It's actually out of control. I don't think he's gonna beat you. Dominic Although Dominic I do White. think it's checking. Leonard Fournette, John Mixon, James White. His team is it's, it's coming together. But I have Lamar Jackson. He's gonna have one hundred and sixty-five rushing yards. Two what else do you down. What else do you need? Two touchdowns. He's gonna have as many rushing yards as. He might have as many rushing yards as all three of those guys provide. White's going to have like 17. What do you do with the uh, Ravens' backfield? Gus. Yeah. Is he the guy? He's the guy. Which one of you is trying to get him? I am. I put a bid can in for him, but he's he's like fifth on my list. I'm not going to get him. I, I have other spots pick? I need. I'm trying to get him. Before me, because I'm trying to get him too. No, you got him. So we're filming this Tuesday do night. I? Waivers go tomorrow. If he's your number one guy, you got him. Are you confident in that? Eric is one. Shane is two. He's your number one guy? Deech yeah. is three. Yeah, because I'm nine. Oh, I'm you're, six, you're so I can actually take him if I want. Sick. You could, but... I don't... Yeah, I don't need him. If you want to do that, go ahead. I'm going to stack up uh, Lamar and Gus. Someone's going to take him before me. Don't take him. Don't Some, take him. Someone's going to take him before me. I need him. I might need him, too. Looking at my team. I have fucking so many gaps in my team Maybe this week. You can take somebody else. I need a flex play. I don't have, I don't have a flex option. I'll give you Alex Collins. You can have him when I drop him for Gus Edwards. <laughs> Deal. How's that sound? All right, this is horrible. This is bullshit. Why? What do you need? Do you even need a running back this week? Yeah. This Did you guys see that? Um, Playing fucking Lamar Miller. Off topic. Oh shit, Nick Chubb's back. The, uh, yeah, shut the up. Giants fan catching the ball from Odell. Dude, what an animal. I loved it. Yeah. I did too. You I kidding me? It. I'd do the same thing. I was very happy for him. That guy you didn't see that? No. Nah. Odell threw the ball to a little kid. Some fucking fat slob snatches it midair. It's going nuts. From the kid? It wasn't even to the kid. <laughs> you, the kid, the kid you know who it was going to. Yeah, but I mean, the, it was it was closer to the guy, I think. And you know what? That guy was... Way more excited than that kid ever would be. That kid doesn't 100%. understand the magnitude of what's going on. He just knows he's getting a football. He probably would throw him dirt with his friends and fucking ruin it. So I think he's a beast, and I'm really happy that I just I'm noticed. super stoked for that guy. I hope he fucking puts it in the case. Chugged. Oh my god, you ever seen this pizzeria in Lodi? Uh, is that, um... What is that? It's Union Pizzeria? No. Wait. Looks phenomenal. Would you guys play Lamar Miller this week? Because Over Miller. Kind of looked pretty good. Yeah. I have him in another league and I am playing him. All right. So, is, I mean. Isn't Tennessee one of like, the top defenses against yeah, the Yeah, that's why I don't want to play him. But he plays they also on, lost Mariota. He plays right? Monday night, though. Probably. So enticing. Who else do you have as your option? Well, I'm playing Gordon and Chubb, obviously. But then I have Galladay and Sanders in my flex. Mm, it's tough between Miller and, I'm, I'm keeping and Sanders. Yeah, of course. You have to. Emmanuel against Pittsburgh. I'm trying to. Uh, I, I don't think that's that good. Down. I don't. They're not gonna put Hayden on him though, because Sanders runs in the slot. Miller had a good game last I week. I just feel like I just feel like Denver is gonna be throwing the ball all game, but Sanders is just not, not really good. All. We run the ball. Well, well I think they're gonna be down. That's what I. I, I mean, saying. that's not. That, but that's like always. That's not true. That's, that's, I'm just just saying if I'm looking at it right here, Pittsburgh versus Denver. Who do I think is gonna be winning in the fourth quarter by two touchdowns? Who would I think, Denver or Pittsburgh? Pittsburgh. What's the line on that game? Pittsburgh. So, I don't think it's like, going to be that big towards Pittsburgh, to be honest. Probably not. No, it's three. Denver's defense is still pretty solid-ish. Yeah, you're all right. We just need a coach. Joey Bosa coming back this fucking week or what? He played last week. Did he? He played limited snaps, right? Like 10 or 15 yeah, snaps? Yeah, he, he was out there. He sucks. <laughs> Trash. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> uh, oh, thank God Aaron Jones is a thing. I'm so happy. I just traded Keenan Allen for him. I thought you didn't get that. I did. You still I made it after it? I did it mid-game uh, on Sunday. Mid-game on Sunday? So you didn't get his points, though? I got Keenan Allen's points. You got Keenan Allen's and flipped him for Jones mid-game. Yeah, now... He, well, no, That's I'm on his fault. That's on him if he didn't. If he wanted to keep Jones and didn't retract the trade offer. Yeah, it was already canceled. He sent it again. Really? Yeah. <laughs> took after Aaron Jones had that big game, he sent it again. Yeah. What an asshole. Is he kidding? Right. What do you guys think about, um, I don't know how it would be done, but adding linemen to fantasy football no. somehow. No. Not like a whole no. line. The, the problem with like, that is it's only, it's fantasy's only statistic base, and O-line don't get stats besides fucking I know, that's the problem. That's why I have, I wrote here, I don't know how to do it. 
the line would need can to I be see talked about. Can because I see you don't do it. You know how you where, properly score them? By crossing that off the list. Where does it say add line? Yeah, okay. You know what's the greatest thing ever? Did you see that like Instagram clip? I love you, and that's really sweet that you, you're trying to I think just, of different ways to I really, spice the league up. I don't really ever bring like that up again. I line and they don't get talked about don't, I don't care. They get talked about plenty by my my inner circle. I'm a Giants fan. It's the bad stuff. <laughs> True. You see the coach like pouring pancake syrup every time uh, the one of the linemen <laughs> got a pancake? I love that. That was amazing. Every time they get a pancake. Did you guys yeah. hear that Quentin Nelson syrup. video wasn't real? Did we talk about that? Yes, I'm very upset about that. that well, was- he said he said the, the scream was fake, yeah. Well, he said no. What it was, it was edited from a different play. It was his scream. They just took it from a different play uh, and uh, mixed it with that play. Uh, and, then, and then he got fined $26,000. For that hit. For that hit. Yeah. Unbelievable. Beast. That's so pathetic about that. Right? Hey, have you ever watched him in an interview? You ever watched him talk? Like, is he an, I don't know anything about him. Is he an uh, asshole? Um, no, he's just like a big, crazy mama loke. Yeah. I kind of think, I kind of just have the image in my head that all linemen, professional linemen are just assholes, especially if you're that good. I mean, you have to be a little yeah. cocky because you're just like a big ass dude who's got to be able to fuck people up. Yeah, I mean, you could be nice and humble, but I feel like most of them are just... Joe Thomas. Yeah, Joe Thomas. Joe Thomas is a good guy. But I just feel like the guys who come out of like fucking Notre Dame are just assholes. Well, he's still in college. You know, like basically he's... No, yeah. He's literally in the NFL. Well, you know what I mean? Like he's got like that college <laughs> mindset. Comes out like you're yeah. not wrong, man. No, yeah, just slugging beers after games. And I feel like normally you get humbled when you come to the NFL, yeah. but when you're Quentin Nelson and you're Dude. just when you're laying down twenty six thousand dollar pancakes, no like, one's humbling you. It, you know, if I go back in time, do I? I still take Barkley over him. For good God. Yeah, you would take Barkley over Nelson if you can go back. Yeah, well, Barkley's unbelievable. What about Barkley over Barkley? Um, um, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm on board now. Is Baker the only one you wouldn't take yeah. him over? I love Baker. I love Baker too. Me too. I still want Baker to go to the Jets really badly. Like Rosen, I like Rosen, but I, I think there's going to be some issues with Rosen. I think I think he's a pussy. Um, yeah, there's there's definitely flaws with all all of them Allen outside of Baker. Not going to be good. No. And Darnold, he's one of those guys that we were talking about last night when I was saying like yeah. coaches don't necessarily look for guys who are good at football anymore. They, they just no, they they just do. It's, it's, it's their the physical far. traits. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So the Paxton Lynch Brock Osweiler effect. Yeah. yeah. Just big, tall. Literally, yeah. Thinking don't get me wrong. Donald's going to be good. I just don't think he's going to be that upper echelon stud top three QB that everybody fucking. You know what the problem? You know, know what the problem I think with that is that a lot of people are like, they get happy about getting a guy like that, right? You know, you know, there's only going to be five elite quarterbacks in the league, right? And those are the guys who are mostly going to win the Super Bowls. A couple outliers here and there, you know, where their defense carries them or something. When you get stuck into. Uh, Sam Darnold, say he gets to like uh, the Andy Dalton level, right? Which is like a good NFL quarterback for a long time. It's better than the Jets have had in 40 years. Right, but it sets your team back also for years because you're at mediocrity. You know what I mean? Like yeah, you're and ne- you have to pay that guy. You have yeah. to pay that guy. Your event- yeah, exactly. You're not going to be like, oh, he has a lot of potential. It's a fourth year, fifth year. He has a lot of potential. We're just going to let him go and try to go elsewhere. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. there's a lot of downside to that as well. I don't there think is. a lot of people look into that. And, that. and that's like, I was so hell-bent on the QB and Jeff and running back to a, to a roll. It's just like, it's, it's unbelievable. But watching this fucking kid play, I, I, he's my, he's close to the best back in, in football. He's good. He learned to run through the tackles on Sunday. Yeah, no, I, I like and he's he's unbelievable. And he's, I mean, you guys, I don't know how well he found, but he's clearly one of the biggest leaders on that team. Yeah. Yes. Like by far, the yeah. way he he's about himself. I, I yeah, love this thing about him. He, I think he's way better of a leader than Cantor's uh, Odell Beckham. I don't disagree. Yeah, Odell's not a leader whatsoever. Terrible. Like, I don't think anyone, like, thought he would, like, yeah. Yeah. I would love to trade Odell's ass. Should. First and third. You would take that? Mm-hmm. In a, a heartbeat, because I'm going to have to move up to draft the quarterback sooner or later. If I'm a team, I would give up a first and a third in a fucking heartbeat to get give Odell. Give him the Browns. Are you, are you kidding me? The Cowboys just paid a first round for fucking Amari Cooper. Yeah, you're right. Add in a third round for Odell. Right. That's yeah, in the, I, I would definitely get more. I think they wanted. I think they were looking at it, and what they say, I like two first rounds. I would still probably do that. If that, if you're like a competitor, and one of your weaknesses is just the wide receiver, you would what? Do that in a heartbeat, Donald for for Beckham. Yeah. I don't think and there are a lot of teams that would do that. Build me around Beckham. Get that give offensive. Me a, give uh, me an awesome lead. pass rusher, defensive. We got one of Lockdown corner. corner, maybe. Nah, I don't. And a pick. We had this argument. Patrick Peters. We had this argument in our um, NYC draft group chat. Outside of quarterback, how would you rank the next 
importance, importance of, of position. I said, I'm yeah. sure I remember what I said. I said QB. I might say left tackle. I said pass rusher. I mean, yeah. Because in this offensive day and age, quarterback, you're not you're not getting to the quarterback. No, no secondary is holding holding grip on good. coverage for. Yeah. <laughs> we good. Ow. Like a left tackle is important. Especially important if you have an Eli Manning who can't move. Yeah, it's everything it's everything really cool. around the quarter. It's it's quarterback who can get to the quarterback, who is the quarterback throwing to and who's defending that pass, yeah. and then who is blocking for the quarterback. Yes. Everything exactly. else is semi relevant. That's why Le'Veon Bell is not getting paid. Correct. Well, someone's gonna pay him. Well, yeah, there are awful free agent moves. I pray the Jets pay him. I fucking fucking pray. I just I just look at some of the I keep thinking back to like Paul Richardson's deal. Like forty million dollars. Like they're gonna is give he P. He was, he's on the IR now. Oh, yeah. Before, there's, there's, before there's, there's a surprise. like 400 yards this year, if that, then on the IR. And I'm like thinking about teams. It only takes one team to be like, yeah, Le'Veon Bell is great. And, and just doesn't think the way that a lot of people are thinking in the forward yeah, thinking way. He will. Because he, he, he is a stud. But what he's going to get paid is not. I've heard some interesting <clears throat> team theories. By some, the way, the Giants gave Jonathan Stewart. Four million guaranteed. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> like, um, someone said the Bears. I thought that was interesting, but I don't. I don't know the cap no, move behind that. I wouldn't like that. I don't think they have the money with well, Mac. Yeah, but Trubisky's still on a rookie deal. Trubisky's on rookie Walker. deal. They did sign a lot of guys though. Burton Ron got a big deal. Got a good deal. Trubisky's probably gonna want an extension soon. So. Wasn't his first year? No, last year was his first year. Third year now. He's gonna go. He's gonna go, an extension end of next year. Probably. He's gonna go yeah. to irrelevancy. He's gonna go to Tampa pay. Bay. He's gonna go to the Jets or something. That's, that's exactly. Someone what said. Mean. Someone said the Ravens. I thought that was a good. That's an interesting one. Because Collins is on one year deal. Flacco's on his one year. They got nothing else there. Flacco. The thing about Flacco is they can't cut him next year without dead, losing dead sixteen money. million dollars of dead cap dead space. Cap. But that would be interesting because Bell would probably want to go there to stick it back to Pittsburgh. That would make that rivalry that much more. That would be crazy. That's like my favorite. They would want to kill Bell. Imagine that first yeah. game between oh them God. two. Woo, that'd be fun the to watch. The offensive lineman might ask to play like defense. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. Damn. That'd be funny. Yeah. I mean, offseason. The offseason is good. This previous offseason was a really fun one. I feel like they're just going to get better and better. Because there's so much coverage all the time. Um, He's turned down 70 million. Let's just not forget that. Yeah, as a four. Or apparently. He wants 17 a year or something. Did we, uh, did we look at the matchups for this week? We, did the, we spoke on him for a little bit. On this, I mean, like, Grit Define plays Alapachi Don, I think. That's so irrelevant. I feel like they play every week. <laughs> Those two will keep playing. That. Yeah. No, it is that. Holy shit, I'm good. What? I play... I'm rooting for Shane, man. Let's get off the schneid, brother. I play Jason. You play... Joe. Joe. Yeah, we went, we went over this before. Eric, All big matchups. Dude, you know what sucks? If you lose to Jason, Eric's, Eric's got to be a layup this week. I know. I know. That's yeah, a thing. Like, I need to win this game. And it's not an easy game for me right now. It's not an easy game. I just need to make sure I get a couple of guys on the wire. I just need to get a tight end and a flex. There's no real fucking flexes available. Oh, I don't like that. Tell you what, you better pray that your biscuit don't play. Me? Because that's going to make Robinson for him irrelevant. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was thinking about that before, too. Marius Thomas hasn't caught a pass in seven quarters. Beautiful. Is he starting, DT? I haven't really looked at our matchup. Well, he's got James White he could throw in there. And if I were him, I would probably throw Prescott in over Mariota. Mariota's probably not going to play. Yeah. Pretty much. I have to hopefully fucking Lamar Jackson is playing. That's why I picked up all these fucking quarterbacks. Because I, I feel like Joe... fucking quarterbacks. Well, because I think... Because I didn't know if Lamar Jackson was even going to play this week or last week. And then... Like, for all, for all we can know, Joe Flacco returns to practice, and then they're just like, oh, Joe Flacco's starting. And now, I'll tell you what, this is, this is an Eric-looking squad, Nick. Mine? Three, four quarterbacks, three defenses. Hey, man. The, uh, the future is bright. Do. I'm a streamer. Look at my, the, the matchups my defenses get over the next few I weeks. Know, know. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's good move, good move. I started scooping them. Scoop, 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 scoop. Did you scoop them? Uh, indeed, brother. All right, I got a, I got a, I got a proposal for the bet. Okay. Before we listen to the, to our our dogs. Okay. Um, Giants go over two and a half. Yeah. You have to buy me an Adam Thielen jersey, not a jersey, a jersey. That's a, hell yeah, that's a deal. I like that. Jersey. Jersey. Okay. Adam Thielen. 
Good shake on that. I have to and buy an Adam Thielen jersey. If we go under, you tell me. If I'm buying you something, it's got to be the same price range, about 30 bucks. Yeah. Let me uh, let me think on that. You think on it. I like that, though. It's a good one, right? Yeah. And I have never... This this is a factual, factual You've never story. worn a piece of... Yeah. I have never <laughs> worn a piece of cloth of another team, but I will with Adam Thielen. I like that. I would suck Adam Thielen. Yeah. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> That's what I want. I've been waiting for it. If, if, if I win, you have to tweet at Adam Thielen saying you want to suck his dick, and it yeah. has to be a public tweet. Okay, fair. So I have to say, like, hey, Adam Thielen. Not like Adam Thielen, because then if I say Adam Thielen... You have to tweet at him. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm saying, though, like, you know, like, if, like, people don't follow him, and you tweet the first thing... You got to do a period yeah. before his name. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you have to do that in public. And can I... I have to take my Twitter off private, right? Yeah, it has to be public. I'm going to retweet the fuck out of it. So all you big dogs got to retweet it. <laughs> Love By that. By the way, do you have final scumbags that, that shit on me? <laughs> scumbags. Uh, yeah, one of them, one of them uh, Did he reply? commented, yeah. yeah. Little pussy ass bitch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Keep watching, please. Nah. Hey, kidding. You hate your guts. Absolutely agreed. So do I. We got anything, any, any good departing words? We got anything else to say? Um, I mean, I'm still, I'm still kind of hungover from watching that game last night. Like, I'm shy. The only thing I had in my notes was talking about possibly adding points for kick returners. A lot of people do points per return. Or, like, you return yards. Is it almost no. like a quarterback at point every 20 yards? I'm not sure how it works. So if anyone's in a point per return, like, yardage kind of thing, let us know. Max wants to do um, <laughs> a half point there. per catching the punt or kick on a kick or punt whoa, return. Whoa, whoa. No yardage. They're catching it? Yeah, so they punt the ball. Tyreek Hill's back there. He catches it. Fair catch. Half point. That's it. If he muffs that punt and the other team recovers it, that's a minus two for a fumble. So if he catches it, he should be rewarded. It's not an easy job. Are you? If he scores a touchdown, he gets six points. You know they literally have specialists for that? That, like, that it, it is easy enough where they have... Brings yeah, a little extra value to certain players that are also to, on the who? Tyreek Hill, Colin, Tyler Lockett, Colin, all, all players that you, all yeah. players that you drafted. Yeah. That's three what are you? Plus. Are you vetoing for a fucking going. midseason change right now? No, not for midseason. For no, next year. Max, Max, Max. Plenty of guys. Bud, Bud, Bud. There's a lot of guys that would benefit. Bud. There's a lot of guys that would benefit from it. Buddy. I want to hear what they have to say. Okay. Bring yeah, that up. Anyone like bring that up into into the league meeting. Yeah, and see, and see and see who starts throwing shit at you. See which. See if that goes down as the quickest you rejection. You do realize Don time. is going Sean to Jackson. fuck. He might. He might. He might butt fuck you. To Sean Jackson. He might be out of the league months? next year. Just saying, there's a lot of guys who the cup when he was. Oh, I do have one thing to bring up. I'm sorry. Go Outside ahead. of Max is just absurd rule changes. Odell oh, Beckham Jr. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> We're done. Literally no more. Um, I guess the last podcast we did, last video we did, um, when Cup got hurt, you I had heard this. Um, you had mentioned that he was the last guy representing the white man brand, but you forgot. Well, I well I said immediately, and I said I spoke too soon. Right after I said that, because yeah. okay. oh, I was thinking okay. of Adam Thielen. I got bad information. It was, there was comments Again. that clarified that. Yeah. Yeah, you need My new sources. Sources are, bad. Yeah, sources are sources horrible still, today. Uh, still not good. Are you, are you sure? Get better sources. Same yeah. sources that let Whitworth walk out of the building, right? Ooh. We're gonna end on that burn. Yeah. No, 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 we're not. <laughs> no, we're, no, we're not. <laughs> I just want to say one thing. Um, this is the last Adam Thielen comment I'm going to make too, until next week. But um, we've had we've had bad two games. You know, Adam hasn't done what he normally does, and uh, those two games, you know, ten point seven, twelve point ten. Just want everybody to know, I'm in for a side bet. Are you making a side bet right now? Yeah, well, you guys. What's your proposal? I have no issues. Yeah, you love feeling. Bet. Let's do another bet. This one's different. This is for a cheese bread. Okay. Cheese bread. Alan, Adam Thielen, over, under. I mean, I had 25 against Packers last time. I'm not going to do that. 19 and a half. Oh, this week? Yeah. Are they 
One, uh, give me the information. They're home Sunday night, Green Bay. Home Sunday night, big game. Green Bay? Wrong. They usually do, I feel like. It's usually like the, uh, yeah. the NFC North plays a lot. Um, so I, I think he, I think from a, an, a totally objective point of view, I think he goes over 20 in that game. All right. Well, I think he shows up in the big time. You Diggs, know what? You know, no he, bet. That's all I wanted to hear. He's probably, I mean, he's probably, he's got enough motivation considering Diggs has made him look like a fool the last few games, mm -hmm. right? Like he can't perform when Diggs is not on the field. He finally gets back. Diggs outperforms him. He's like, oh my God, I got to represent for all my people in America. All of these white people looking up to me right now. I need to put up 19 and a half you, you think fantasy points. He thinks about me? Not you. He probably hates you. Do you really think there's a bigger Adam Thielen fan out there than me? It's like, you know, when he probably make a wish, know. there's probably multiple make a wish kids that have asked to talk oh, with Adam yeah, Thielen. Probably a guy who's actually a Vikings fan. Yeah. Like, there's so many bigger Adam yeah. Thielen fans. Like, they have a jersey already. <laughs> yeah, you, the don't, games. you don't have a jersey. You don't even probably, there's so many things you probably don't know about him. I know about his foundation. Do you know what college you went to? You're about to be fucking exposed. Yeah. Yeah, I know. 6'3. I don't care about a man's height. He, I, all I know is he went to a D3 college on a $500 scholarship, went undrafted, and it's somewhere in Minnesota, too. Wow, that's a hot fucking take. Well, listen. So suck my dick. This is now the Trent Richardson Adam Field podcast. <laughs> and I don't sponsor I that. No problems with it. I have, I have qualms with that. I have plenty of qualms with this. <laughs> Trent Richardson deserves his own title. Maybe it can be featuring Adam Thielen. Oh, I like that. Kind of like how Michael K doesn't really put Don on the show. Like in the thing. Like Listen, Michael great K analogy. That is a great analogy. If Don's not on that show, there is no Michael K show. Well, yeah, so if Trent Richardson you know, have the name of the show, and then Adam Thielen... Loki, yeah. Yeah. Keep Trent Richardson. Like <laughs> make, let him not order too much food while on air. <laughs> yeah. Keeps him if, keeps him in control. If we get Trent Richardson to come into this basement, like we fly him in oh, and everything. Husband. If he agree, we, do you would, know would, me, would, that be, would that be the greatest? Like, do you know? Oh fuck! The camera's off. Fuck. No. This thing. Yeah, I was looking. That's why I kept looking in the mirror. Oh yeah, you're set up. So you yeah, that's why I was. That's why I kept kind of creeping over. Look at the Knicks. Why are we winning? It's fucking annoying. It keeps overheating. I don't know where we cut off video wise, but they'll get all the audio, I guess. Yeah. Um, Man, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm done talking about Adam Thielen. He doesn't deserve a title. He doesn't deserve any more of my breath. That's it. Trent Richardson, that's it. I hope you all have the. Actually, can we debate Thanksgiving food? What do you, what do, you do? Do you order Domino's on Thanksgiving, Nick? No. What's your favorite side? This is going to be fucking laughable. I'm not talking right now. <laughs> I'm pissed. No, my family, no, we do a, we're a big Italian family. I know it doesn't look it, but, um, <laughs> like, legitimately, meatballs are my, my favorite side. We have a macaroni course. Meatballs are taste good, huh? I mean, we still have stuffing, everything else. Stuffing's probably my favorite. Stuffing's a goat. Yeah, Stuffing's an absolute goat. You know, I shout out, uh, free plug season, um, Larry Styles' mother makes the best stuffing I've ever had in my life. Yeah, yeah. L Styles, if you watch yeah, this, it's, it's, that. it's that good. We would like some. We would like some L Styles stuffing for our next episode. Yeah, yeah. It's, we need a segment of him it's to so eat, good. Like, some hot dogs. So good. I might throw in some stuffing. I'm hesitant yeah. to throw an address in here, but if if I give you an address, I'm gonna give you a random address, and I'll watch the post guy drop it off at that address, and then I'll go run and get it, so you guys don't know which one is mine actually. <laughs> You guys need to send us food, and we'll eat it. Uh, you can send us the weirdest shit you, you could think of, yeah, and, and I'll eat it. And, uh, Don't poison. Eh, you can poison it. I'd actually be fine. Weird shit to it, and then send us pictures at the bottom. Yeah. It's like a little treasure hunt. Yeah. Like at the bottom of the treasure, what's See, under like it? The pictures. Oh. Okay, we're just rambling. I'm out of here. Guys, we are done. It's always fun. Seriously, thank you for letting us join you, and thank you for listening, listening. to our fucking bullshit. Yeah. I don't know why you do. I wouldn't. Why? I would. I would. We, I don't uh, know. We're going to be better every week. We're going to get better. We haven't started getting better yet, but it, we, <laughs> we will soon. We will soon. Please stick with us. That's it. We're out. Peace. Thank Thanksgiving. Let's go fucking Happy Christ Thanksgiving. Christopher Columbus, we out.
Tem onde? 